this final match. Now the bands come in. Uh, Music Master has banned Collector in all four matches. Log is a band from Sergio Ramos, ideally I assume targeting Expo and some other things. This is an incredible match between two players. They both played seven games. Sergio Ramos has played six different decks in seven games. Music Master has played five different decks in seven games. Both incredibly diverse and skillful players. Each with 2-1 victories in the semifinal stage. It was not a crushing defeat for their opponents by any means. Anyone can take this crown. It's all up to them to show us if they've got the stuff of stars. And make that six different decks for Music Master as he has switched it up with a what? Mega Knight Hog Rider deck. What has happened? Sergio Ramos is being torn apart on the left lane. Ran out of Elixir and a massive connection from Music Master has taken him down to triple digits in the very first minute of this game. Music Master. Now, this is a, a match between a world divided. We saw all those predictions. I looked on Twitter between this matchup and get this. Everyone, every poll in the Western Hemisphere has Sergio Ramos winning. Every poll in the Eastern Hemisphere has Music Master wow. winning. I swear. This is an incredible matchup between two players. Players, the world cannot decide on who the favorite is. Goblin Hut in the middle will start producing Spear Goblins to try to chip away Sergio Ramos's tower. He fell behind early, but we are about 30 seconds away from double elixir time. Music Master gets out a second spawn building, and he's looking to pressure that left lane for the rest of the game. Miner, a good counter, going to chip away at that furnace a little bit, but the Ice Spirit buys a little bit of time for the next wave of Fire Spirits to come out. Takes him down, and it's still 1670, a relatively healthy left side tower for Music Master. A minute and 14 left until this uh, game is going to be over, but double elixir your time starts soon. Which deck do you think has the advantage in that time? I gotta say Music Master's double spawner deck. When you are gaining Elixir that quickly and you uh -oh. are able to put down just Furnace and Goblin Hut and get multiples of them out throughout the game, uh -oh. you're in good shape. But oh no! Uh -oh. Triple digits by far as Sergio Ramos catches up and has taken the damage advantage as we at the start of double Elixir time. Heavy punish by Sergio Ramos. Saw that Mega Knight way far in the back and thought, now's my time to strike. Sent in a great little push that did a Ton of damage. Is he gonna get the jump? Uh oh no! Getting awfully close. He might get. Oh! oh. If he had jumped right on top of the Electro Wizard. If he had landed, that would be a totally different game. Cannon Cart takes out the Electro Wizard. Is beginning to pressure the tower. Tesla Tower is gonna get down. No. Is it too far back? back by the goblins? Ooh. Awfully close, but no cigar this time. Sergio Ramos behind in damage, but not by much. Flying Machine played too far up. It was meant to turn around and shoot the Miner first. It didn't oh. get there, and instead it's locked on to the Knight. But Poison will get that damage down a little lower. We're getting into overtime very soon. Even though there's a little bit of a lead for Music Master, they're both so low that the first tower to go down will put you up one battle in this best of five matchup. Cannon card out the left side for Music Master playing cool on defense. There's not a big win condition from Sergio Ramos. All he could really have to do is throw that Miner in there. So he's got to play smart defense and try to get a massive attack in there. Not looking likely though as Music Master with a huge push. Mega Knight to pulverize the defense. Tesla goes down and we've got a strong healthy flying machine getting awfully close. Poison ticks that tower down to 146. Ramham, it looks like it's almost over. Two cards, I'm counting out. Music Master cycle. Oh. Two cards there. Three cards that gets in there. On the Music Master. Spirit. Best players in the world. It's really shown that it takes a lot of skill and understanding of all 70 whatever cards have been released in the game to be able to tear apart that sort of creative deck building skill. Ooh, it looks like Music Master's opening with another Goblin Hut. I assume it's the same deck, but of course it could be uh, maybe like the Lupanji Pekka Mega Knight deck. This might even be an evolution of that deck. No, Double Spawners comes out again. So can Sergio Ramos beat it? This time, though, he has a Miner to get uh -oh. in there and actually aggro. Well, on the Mega Mains, get all the close to the tower. The well played. Oh, wow, what coming hit? from Music Master as he recognizes a big hit from Sergio is coming down on the right side. Sergio pulled off an excellent bamboozle there, pulling the cannon oh. card in. Yeah, two trick, two, uh, six elixir really worth of troops were pulled back behind the tower and that allowed the Mega Minion to connect. Golem's coming down for Sergio Ramos and Golem, an excellent card at dealing with spawner buildings. It's heavy enough yeah. that it can just muscle through them. Not the sort of card you'd expect this early in the game, but a great way to shut down that cannon card push. And with plenty of help on those uh -oh. minis, he's gonna be able to tell for the flying machine. Backside poison's looking awfully good as well. And the golem is connected and tears apart that right side tower. Minions in attache have done their job. Sergio Ramos with the 1 0 lead over Music Master in this second battle. And not just a 1 0 lead, but both of his towers are as healthy as they can, they can really be. I think he's just gotta play defense for the next minute 30. Music Master, though, smiled, kind of gave a nod, said, well played. Here's the thing, Music Master's been banning Elixir Collector all the time. I think he's written off Golem as a deck that he would see. Sergio Ramos said, you know what, like, if you're going to sit back and just play Spawner Buildings, fine, then I'll play Golem Whoa. in the same lane as it, and it seems very effective.
clutch flying machine from Music Master tears apart that poor furnace. And it's looking like even though he's got the defensive edge with that king tower up, he hasn't managed to be able to chip into Sergio Ramos once again. Music Master doesn't really have a super heavy win condition here. It's more of a mid-range deck, and especially going up against Gollum, it's going to be super difficult for that Mega Knight to ever even get a chance to hit the tower. And with Poison and Sergio Ramos' deck being really good, not just against hitting the tower and the spawner buildings, but if you can catch a flying machine in that as well, oh. very quickly you can get a, a huge damage lead. That elect Inferno Dragon, ooh, eats up Mega Knight in record Nelson. time. Zap was out of cycle. Caution. Electro Wizard not in the arena. Inferno Dragon going wild. Now the shield break on the cannon card actually does reset the Inferno Dragon, so they gave it a chance, okay. slowed it down, allowed it to die to the tower. You're seeing Mega Knight coming in the other lane, looks like he's trying to go for kind of an all-in attack here. Great Ice Spirit, no, it jumps on the Miner instead, oh. allowing the Inferno Dragon to take it down, and I think that was Music Master's last chance in this game. With just 17 seconds to go, Sergio Ramos is holding strong in both lanes, and he is going to tie this matchup one and one. 10 seconds left and Music Master is showing his hand. Nothing that he can do at this point. As time whittles away, Sergio Ramos offers the good game and we are going into Sergio Ramos, USA versus Mexico. It is so easy to pick a side if you have an opinion on things. <laughs> I have an opinion on things, but I'm gonna let the viewers decide for their own. Let us know in chat if you are on Music Master's side or if you're rooting for Sergio Ramos. And Twitter is alight with people <laughs> saying, you know, go, go, go to their favorite players. Knight comes down just in time to block the bandit, and the bandit is going to be held there. And I think Knight is even gonna do a great job at distracting any things. A goblin tries to come down, you know, you can be able to handle those well. Oh, there you go. Minions get held off. Now, there's no log, remember. So both players actually uh -oh. spell bait. It might uh -oh. look a whole lot better in a world without log, but minions the minions want to get a lock on him. him. Right That's side takes 500 damage, and it's a relative draw at this point. Highway robbery not taking place as the bandit went down, but Sergio Ramos counters attacks from the skies. Another, Another bandit knight. dash! Wow. wow! Wow, 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 wow. The knight was not in cycle that time. And the goblins are even gonna get a little more damage, bringing oh. it down to just poison. Oh, I can't say log, but uh, a little more than like a minor poison. We'll take that tower down on the right. Grand Theft Tower, great dash by the bandit. She steals not only hearts, but also wins. Sergio Ramos up, and what is that? That is Music Master's Mortar. Mortar Master, some call him. Now, I don't really like that placement, though, because the poison is like, of course, he'd want to poison that side. But look at that. He just used poison. And instead, Mortar is going to get shot after Ooh. shot after Punishing shot. Pushing the poison, though. He sends in the Minion Horde. No spell in Sergio Ramos' deck to deal with it, but pulled away by Goblins. Well played, though. Is given out. The Minions, though, connect on the other side, and they're going to do sh they're going to shred that tower for a ton of damage. No, Bay Princess. Wow. She gets dashed on by the Bandit, and the Minions are going to finish off that right side tower. One minute and 10 seconds left, and Sergio Ramos is again up a tower. Music Master gives up his right side. He's ready to continue the siege, though. He could actually go left or right at this point. Going for that right side tower of Sergio Ramos would be a little bit more difficult just because he's lost his right side tower already. Wow, the eighth ah. card in Sergio's deck, though, is not good news for Music Master. Pekka is a master of destruction. Run and the timing could not hurt more just as the mortar comes out. You see it. Oh, is poison going to come out? Is he saving up for it? The Electro Wizard gets cleaned up, and the Princess takes it out. She's going to be shooting on the tower, but no, Bandit's going to come cleaner out. Still, though, both of Sergio Ramos' towers uh -oh. are not looking very uh -oh. good. The Pekka's got the, 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 the tower twins. down! Three swings, and it is finished off with the fourth. Sergio Ramos with the 2-0 lead. And Pekka, minor control, is putting Sergio Ramos in the lead in this match with a three crown victory, maybe? I don't know. Well, hold on. Oh, there it is. Woo, woo. Music Master gave me a little bit of a heart attack there for a second, but Sergio does take the three crown. He's up. Trying to take this for the US of A, but Sergio Ramos, one of the youngest players, has some of the most experience in these types of circumstances. Can he get the win for Mexico and Team Nova? And Music Master once again goes with Mortar, but early on, Bandit and Minions are going to counter it. Dang. That is seven Elixir for Music Master, six for Sergio Ramos, and I think he got the better end of that exchange. Did. Sergio a little bit ahead, but not by a whole lot. They're just feeling each other's decks out right now, getting a sense for what they're up against. Nice sap from Sergio, though, gets some value from this Miner. One more card of Music Master will be back to Mortar, so maybe he can try that again. I do I do like opening with Mortar, just like opening with Hog Rider. If they don't have a counter to it, then you can get a ton of value in the first 15 seconds or so of the game. Oh, interesting counter. We got the minion Horde coming out in from Music Master. Could leave him with an opportunity to counterattack if he can send that 
Uh, interesting Mitchell choice. even with something, but not looking likely. I thought he'd be able to drop a, a knight in there. To he did have the knight bandit. in cycle. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised he went with that. Maybe he thought between the bandit charge and the electro wizard attack, the knight would go down in record time, and okay. it would not be a very good defense. Once again, though, Miner's coming down. Oh, no, this mortar's not going to hit. Oh, Zap takes it out no. again. Princess providing some support damage, but I think those minions are even going to close in and maybe get some damage on the tower. No. Miner even did a great job blocking for the princess out in the left side. Uh, locked on to the mortar over there. They were tearing through that thing. No value for that siege emplacement as Music Master struggles to find an inroad in this fourth battle of what might be the last in this match from him. More, uh, Music Master did it again. He played the same deck two games in a row. He's playing Mortar the second time, and he got, looks like he's got the same matchup against Pekka Miner. So the, one of those last two cards, I believe, is Poison, and the other being Miner. Very scary to deal with. We'll have to see if he can bait maybe out the Poison. Oh, there, there it goes. There it is. It's on the Minion Horde, though, which is not really what you're oh. looking for. Uh, now he can play Minion Horde, but it's out of Cyclist, so you know it's out of his hand. Killer strike from Sergio Ramos as he has not much to fear in this final minute of the battle. Music Master defending against Goblins now with a Princess. Gets a little bit of chip damage in there, but takes uh, two stabs. Now Even. the Princess is there to support. Pekka comes down to block, but if he can take out this Pekka and keep the Mortar standing, there is a very good chance that he can turn this around and take the tower. Soaks the Bandit damage out the left side, and I agree with that. you got to be able to take a one oh. on the chin if you're going to invest your Elixir in defense of the right. He's going in hard, trying to tear that tower down with a good Mortar lock, but the Pekka takes short work of it. Chopping out the back as the Miner goes in to support some minions, but once again, rebuff. Sergio Ramos has so many spells, and the Electro Wizard on top, he doesn't have to worry very much at all about these swarm attacks from Music Master. Over and over again, Sergio Ramos, who's Zap and his poison are MVPs in this game, zapping the bats, poisoning the minion horde. Both of them are great traits that are putting him ahead. He only needs another minor poison attack or so in order to take this game. And because Music Master knows that, he's going with an aggressive attack to bait the poison out. There goes Electro Wizard trying to stop, and Electro Wizard will start the counterattack on the other side. But now both of Music Master's towers are low. Sergio Ramos is sweating, wiping the sweat from his brow because he knows he's just 274 damage away from being the next victim. He needs to poison it. He needs to zap it. Sergio Miner. Ramos, the world championship Could've is in your the grip. He killed their minion horde at the right side to defend, but the poison will take it down, and that's the last chance that Music Master has to strike. No mortar for him to lock on at this point, and the minions are going to be able to stab down this miner. I don't think that there's anything left for Sergio to do but send in the final blow, Ramam. He's just got to cycle back. Zap lowers it. He needs a poison. He's played one card, two cards. I think just two more cards will bring him the poison and the victory. Sergio Ramos from Mexico is going to be your first ever Clash the Royale champion. The Bandit takes it. Sergio Ramos wins. First place in the Clash Royale Crowd Championship World Finals goes to the Nova player from Mexico. He can't stand. He's holding on to the flag. He cannot believe it. Just hours ago, he was the biggest underdog in this field. And now you can call him the first ever Clash Royale World Champion. Nova, he has come this far, defeating player after player. He has played Giant Beatdown, Three Musketeer, Graveyard, Pekka, and more minor poison and Pekka control. Deliver it to him as Nova rushes the stage. You can see his coach, his teammates, the owner of Nova all hugging him. They have done it. They have come so far and played so hard. And you can count Nova as the first team.